Yuvraj Singh walks down those steps for his 300th game. I hope just before getting up from his place in the change room, he pats himself on the back a little bit because 300 is a fantastic journey. If not anything else, forget the numbers. It tells you you've been good enough to be picked for your country 300 times in what is essentially a batting country. You must be seriously good. But it's a career that he can look back at with great pride. Occasional frustration, undoubtedly, that's true of everybody, but with great pride. And still remember the slim young man who walked out in, uh, in Nairobi. None of us quite knew what to expect. In the second game, he hardly got, got any time in the first one and he got 80 against Australia and he was playing all the shots, he looked like he belonged, that little swagger was already apparent and you knew you were starting to see something very special. And then in his first two years, he had produced three events that you can remember. That debut was quickly followed by that NatWest final at Lords, him and KF of course, part of Indian folklore and then not always remembered as much that uh, 2002 semi-final against South Africa, one of the great Champions Trophy games. Not as much with battle ball, but with his catching. Because it's because Yuvraj and KF at their peak, but especially Yuvraj, redefined India's fielding and made everybody else say, look, we don't want to look like scooters in a field on which the, the luxury automobiles are rolling. Then, of course, came that phase 2005 to 2009. If you want to recall Yuvraj, in spite of 2011, you want to recall the 2005 to 2009 phase. He scored more centuries than anybody else, only Jay Surya was tied. He scored more hundreds, more runs than anybody else, but also more sixes than anybody else. And I only mention that because for Yuvraj, hitting a six was another shot. Sometimes you saw batsmen whose entire body got into the six. With Yuvraj, it was six the possessor of the finest bat swing that I have seen in all the years that I have covered cricket. His, his sixes were, were just another shot. And then of course came, came 2011, the culmination of a dream, a lifelong dream. His father wanted him to play cricket, he was a skater, his father threw the skates away and said play a proper game. And all that went along and then of course winning the 2011 Man of the Series was everything that he wanted to be. Then suddenly the cruel realisation that life is finite and that there's evil growing inside you. At that point, I remember telling myself, if Yuvraj doesn't play another one day international, he'll still possess a career that people will look back at with envy. A World T20, a World Cup, so many runs, the beauty of his stroke play. And he struggled when he came back, of course. I mean, you can't do a eulogy without remembering that he struggled enormously all the way up to 2014. I didn't think he'd play after that. But here he is, 300 games, still hitting the ball a little heavier maybe, a little bigger maybe, not quite Jadeja at backward point, but still holding his own and achieving number 300 that very, very few people has. I, I wish him well, I don't know how much longer he's going to play, but till such time as he does, I wish he never loses that bat swing because that's one of the things that's given me great joy.